The MSE is our loss function. And that loss function can actually be written in matrix notation as well. Much simpler, right? So now let's see why these two forms are actually the same. First, let's simplify this table a bit. We'll remove the unnecessary parts. And to include the intercept term, we'll add a new column of ones to the X matrix. Check the table on the left side of the screen. Now on the right, we'll represent the independent variables as the X matrix and the prices or the target values as the Y vector. Remember, vectors are written in lowercase and matrices in uppercase. All right, let's start from the equation on the left. We have five rows of data. For each row, we take the inner product of the features with the W vector, subtract the actual Y value, square the result, and sum them all up. That gives us SSE, the sum of squared errors. And dividing by five, we get the MSE. Now let's look at the matrix notation on the right. We multiply the X matrix by the W vector. Matrix vector multiplication works like this arrow here, row by row. If we continue that process, the result of XW looks like this. Now we subtract the Y vector. So the expression becomes XW minus Y. Each element of that vector corresponds exactly to the term W transpose X minus Y on the left-hand side. Since the formula is getting a bit long, let's label each row as A, B, C, D, and E. Now let's rewrite the right-hand side in that form. The squared 2 norm of a vector is the same as its inner product with itself. We still have 5 data rows, so we multiply by 1 over 5 and take the inner product. And there we have it. It's exactly the same equation as the vector form on the left.